What's up everybody and welcome back in another video of uh, Props and 3D and I know uh, that it has been a while since I uh, created and uploaded a video on this channel. I uh, apologize for that but don't you worry I uh, still continue in the background on uh, other projects like the life size doco and yeah new projects are coming your way so don't you worry stay tuned I will be uploading more videos soon. So yeah, back to today's subject. And for all the 3D uh, printer enthusiasts over there, you um, probably can see what these are. These are empty spools. And these are not your typical uh, one kilogram uh, spools, but these are larger. These are 2.2 kilogram spools. And today we are going to reuse them to storage all of my uh, paint bottles so for the time being i'm um, storing them in these transparent boxes but to be honest these are not practical and i want to get rid of it and that's why we are going to reuse these spools and because these are larger much higher spools those bottles fit perfectly in there and of course this wouldn't be a 3d printed related channel I created these. These two pieces fit together. These form a circle that goes around the empty spools. And then you can store all your bottles in there one by one. To be honest, you can use these in whatever setup that you have, as long as the spools are high enough to fit these types of bottles. These are your typical um, Vallejo, Ammo Make, Army Paint also uses these. That's the only requirement of course. For the base I'm going to use this rotatable um, display which is normally used uh, to airbrush so you can spin around your objects more uh, easily. I have bought these I think for around uh, 10 euros and these are um, yeah the same size as the spools that I have so these fit perfectly to be honest and here I only have two empty spools but yeah you can stack them all together and make this uh, carousel as high as you want so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, take this tunable uh, display stand and attach this 3D printed uh, thing that I created so we can um, mount those empty uh, filament spools to this base and for that we need to open this uh, disc because it contains of two uh, parts that we need to separate so there you have it and the side that we are going to use is this side because we have more space to put the screws in there so you need to also detach this and then we need to put this uh, here in the middle and for that I created a little uh, template to know where the holes of the screws need to be So in addition with the screws I'm also going to use this uh, rapid epoxy glue just to make sure that uh, everything has its proper strength and it don't come loose. So the next thing that we are going to do is take uh, these two rings. I added a little marker over here so I know how far I need to glue them. But these rings will help to uh, keep the spools aligned so we can glue them better together afterwards and they stay in place.
next step that we are going to do is to glue these uh, bottle holders in place on the empty spools. I created some keys uh, to uh, align them much easier when gluing them. But before that I'm going to scuff up the surface a little bit so the glue has a better adhesion. So now that uh, we put this bracket in place, it's time to put our first layer of uh, cup holders in there. So for that I'm going to use again this uh, two component epoxy glue. And once the glue has been settled, I'm going to use again my uh, soldering iron to melt everything together. Once the glue has been settled and I uh, welded the bottom piece of this turntable to the uh, spool, it's time to put everything back together. So this goes in here and then we are going to put on the bottom part. So the first floor uh, is ready it's time to put on the other tree the um, procedure will be the same we'll be using the two component uh, epoxy and weld everything together with this soldering iron so we are sure that uh, things won't come loose <music> can see the uh, paint bottle carousel is ready and in addition to the uh, three story high I also added this top um, row to add extra because I thought I was not using uh, the available space sufficient enough so I added an extra row and I also added the plate here so I can store extra bottles on top. That means that in total I can store 100 of these bottles on the side and an extra 60 bottles, these smaller types, 
60 on top, so in total 160 bottles I can store in one place. But I also have other types, these varnishes, the primers, um, I got my uh, washes, etc. So I also want to have these at hand at all times, so I can store them here on top. Um, I have around 30-35 bottles and they fit perfectly in here. So a mixture of all these bottles I would say around an 135. But if you want to store these types, these smaller types of bottle, you can go up to 160. So I'm very pleased with the end result and it might not appeal to you as the most beautiful uh, creation we've got here but at least it's a practical one and that was the whole point of this setup and if i need the two paint in one go i can have all my paints with me uh, you noticed i didn't create a handle or grip to move it around because this will demand extra space on top and it's already a big tower in the end so i don't want to add extra height to it and you can still move it around easily enough so the only thing left for me to do is to uh, store all these uh, bottles up in here and try to organize them as much as possible so yeah, thank you for watching everyone. I really hope you learned something today. And maybe if you also are a 3D printer enthusiast, you still have some empty filament spools laying around. Maybe you can use them for your uh, paints. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by uh, becoming a patron or a member on this uh, YouTube channel. And this will help me to create more content for you. So again, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Props and 3D signing out. Bye everybody.